Biology had not been one of his strong subjects in school. In fact, most of his understanding of how the brain and body worked was based on the numbskulls, a cartoon in the breezer, which he had readily evaded as a boy. Um, he thought the numbskull approach to neuroscience was really pretty sound. It made sense to him that a bloke in the eye of the department controlled whether he bumped into walls or not. Nor was it beyond his comprehension to think of workers in overalls shoveling food down his throat while he was eating. In fact, to make their lives easier, he used to eat slowly, taking only very small mouthfuls and chewing well before swallowing. If he showed them respect, he reasoned, there was a fair chance they'd reciprocate. As a boy, he'd also believed that when he put a record on his parents' gramophone, miniature musicians would start playing behind the fabric of the loudspeaker. These guys were very versatile, and they could play the Beatles or Beethoven with equal accomplishment. But if you opened the lid, you couldn't see them. They were down there in the workings of the machine, but they were shy and modest. Of course, he didn't believe that about the gramophone anymore. The advent of smaller record players followed but over time by cassette recorders, CD players, iPods and digital downloads had pretty much paid to the notion of tiny guitarists hiding in a big wooden musical chest. Pure fantasy, but the numbskulls. Well, it was harder to shift them from his thinking, so when the surgeon said, I'm really sorry, but there's not much we can do, it's so advanced. It was easier, rather than listen to the surgeon's technical information, to picture the whole section of the brain department having to close because of dry rot or concrete failure or something. He thought of energetic wee men becoming lethargic, wheezing and coughing, stretching their aching backs and taking longer and longer tea breaks, not being able to function anymore. Sick building syndrome. Conceptually, he could just about cope with that. And it was then. Sick building syndrome. What a bastard. He felt so sorry for those wee guys.